talks between Ukraine and Russia are underway in Belarus. And to explore what both sides might want out of them, we're joined now by Alexander Titov, who's a lecturer in modern European history at Queen's University in Belfast. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us today, Alexander. So how promising do you think it is that both sides are sitting down to talk together? Is there some hope that a diplomatic solution could be reached? Well, it's certainly very encouraging that they are meeting and... Um that uh, there are you know, obviously uh, effort on both sides to uh, go some way towards um, uh, at least starting a negotiation or what uh, a ceasefire might look like. I'm afraid I don't think it is uh, likely that anything, any breakthrough will be um, uh, coming out of this meeting because simply that uh, the military operation has, it's, uh, Russian military operation has its own momentum. And uh, it looks like Russians uh, will want to achieve those uh, aims, at least uh, in uh, Donbass, uh, in East Ukraine, before they can start engaging early um, earnest talks. But, you know, the fact that there, there are talks, it's all, all, always good to see. So when it comes to the possibility of a deal, how might you see that playing out? What could Russia be offered politically in order to keep it happy? Well, that's a very good question, and I think it's a lot will depend on what the situation looks on the ground. So, uh, Russians' objectives seem to have been to uh, capture both Kharkiv and Kiev, which have been have failed. Uh, it had more success in the south of the country, and it is advancing on in East Donbas. So, uh, it's very kind of partial uh, success with a huge amount of uh, casualties and also enormous. Uh, hit to its economy from Western sanctions. So um, uh, difficult to see what they want to get out of it. But uh, I guess the minimum we we'll want is the recognition of the two breakaway regions and official uh, Ukrainian neutrality. Uh, the way things are going, I think uh, Ukrainians are quite emboldened uh, by uh, the way the way they fight, and also by the uh, the amount of Western pressure on Russia, which you know exceeded all the expectations, uh, that they might want to hold out for a complete withdrawal of Russia, which would be, of course, uh, politically unacceptable domestically as well as internationally for President Putin. So, what about Ukraine then? Obviously, short term they do want a withdrawal and a ceasefire, but what might they be looking at longer term? Well, longer term they probably want to have exactly what Russia um, uh, started this war to prevent them from, uh, a full alliance with, uh, with NATO, uh, either formal membership or uh, de facto membership, massive military economic support uh, from, uh, for, from the West, and, you know, continuing indefinite economic sanctions and pressure against Russia until there is a, a regime change, I suppose. Uh, that would be the ideal uh, scenario for Ukraine. Alexander Titov from Queen's University in Belfast, thanks very much indeed for talking to us today.